I just realized I talked over it and you guys won't have even heard that. Anyway, cheers. What's up guys, Liam here, and welcome back to LSJ TV. As per usual, we have started the day listening to Radio 1. Uh, I feel like I always listen to Radio 1 in videos, regardless of whether it's like Workout Wednesday, BBC's on like the BBC Sounds app, Radio 1 Live, like I'm going to a Radio 1 big weekend kind of thing. Uh, I like Radio 1, okay? I like it. I mean, other stations are also very, very good, but... For me right now, Radio 1 is the one. What's this? Oh, it's Newsbeat! Newsbeat, Dad! You know what the most frustrating thing is in the entire world? Nothing more, this is top. I'm trying to find a freaking car parking space. In a crap car park. Right, let's go back down. Uh, oh, there's one. <laughs> now if I just pull around like this. Oh God, oh God, oh God. It's all good, it's all good, it's all good. Your boy's a sick driver, it's all good. <coughs> Okay. Anyone else when they get a car ticket as well, like a, a car park ticket, stick it in the back of their phone case. So after searching for about an hour, we actually managed to find one of the sickest spots. <laughs> Awkward. So we are here for one reason and one reason only. Well actually that's not true. I need to return a couple of bits, I need to maybe buy some new shoes. Um, I also got a haircut, you can probably tell. Like, it's the day that ends in Y, and so it's a day for a haircut, you know? This shirt has a toucan on it. I, I, I have to one day own this shirt. Thanks a lot, cheers. Shoes and everything aside, we are here for one reason and one reason only. Donuts. Oh, you guys have no idea how hard it is for me to not eat these donuts right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. So, uh, I'll show you what we got. This, this is so hard because I've not actually eaten anything. Oh, look, my mouth is watering. Check out these Nutella donuts. Oh my god. Hang on, hang on. Look at it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah, yeah. It's summer. CG lemon lime or CG V3. Pre is going down today for two days. Pool session with Cam, the cameraman. It's gonna be a good one, it's always a good one. We are practically training outside, people. We are doing something that we don't normally do. We are doing something that you guys don't normally get to see. We are literally, right now, not literally, but I might use it as the title. We are literally training outside. <laughs>
So in terms of the plan so far, right, we are sticking to the routine five days per week as much as we possibly can. We are sticking to the cardio minimum of three times per week. To be honest, the last few times that I've actually done cardio, I've done more than enough cardio. I've just literally felt good and just kept on going. I've done like an hour, like five, six hundred calories each time. Everything's going well and to be honest, I completely just... I just forgot to weigh myself. I, I don't know whether it's just because I'm not in the routine of it yet, like getting up at the same time and all that kind of stuff. I don't know, I just completely forgotten. So I don't know what I weigh, but I, I feel good right now. I, I feel like I look okay. I feel like I look on track, right? So I wrote out this list in my phone as to what weight I should be at at what point in time. And that's kind of assuming that it would be a linear kind of weight loss. And as we guys, as we guys, as you guys know, that is very rarely um, actually the case. But hey, I've written it down just one, to hold myself accountable, two, for motivation, and three, to kind of see whether it is actually that kind of linear line or not. So, as of the 10th of June, when we first started this, you won't be able to see that, but 175 pounds. 17th of June, 173.5, 24th of June, 171, 1st of July, 169.5, vice versa, etc, 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 until we get down to 165 pounds. That's around about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, about another 6 weeks. So another 6 weeks to lose, you know, 7, 8 pounds, 9 pounds. Nine pounds, nine pounds. The reason it's nine pounds is because as of right now, I am technically behind schedule. But as you guys saw in the last video, um, I feel like I actually weighed less than what the scale said on the basis that, well, on the basis of bowel movements, you know, that is one thing that can massively affect my weigh-ins in particular. You've got to also bear in mind that what time you eat dinner, how much water you've drank, how many carbs you ate the day before, how many calories overall you ate the day before, the kinds of food, how, how much salt you've had, the kinds of food you've been eating, all sorts. Like I know that mum and dad are having chili for dinner tonight, right? So I know that if I have that, I will more than likely wake up tomorrow morning one pound to two pounds heavier because of the sodium, right? And I just know that. And that is a good thing that I'm kind of aware of that because I then, if I wasn't aware of that, would let that affect my mentality towards my weight. And if I weighed one or two pounds heavier, I'd think, oh God, you know, what have I, what have I done wrong here? When actually it's just something simple as sodium, it's salt. Like, you know, I'm retaining water or whatever it is because of the, um, chili. That is the plan for the foreseeable future. We will stick to it. We will stick to the five days a week. We will stick to the three days a week cardio. And we'll see how we go. If we stumble, we'll make the necessary changes. If we keep going, we keep going. It's good. We keep going and, and, until we stumble. You know? <laughs>
I weighed myself every single day for ages. You know, every single time I've done a dieting phase, I've weighed myself every day um, to learn more about my body. Like I said about the, the chili, like, you know, if I was to have that, I know that about my body because I've noticed a pattern. Every single time I have chili, I then wake up the next day and, you know, I'm heavier. It's as simple as that. Um, but I figured that out by weighing myself every day. But I wouldn't necessarily say it's a healthy habit to weigh yourself every single day. I think it can make you a bit conscious of it and it can get in your head. And if you are that type of person, which is perfectly okay, there's, you know, in all honesty, I am a little bit as well. But I kind of just tell myself that I'm weighing myself for the purpose and I'm weighing myself for a cause, if you like, and weighing myself to find out more about my body and how I can make it better, you know? So, if you are going to weigh yourself every single day, I've been doing it morning and night ever since I've started this dieting phase, and I've been doing it every morning and every night. Um, if you are going to do that, for starters, either get a notepad, you know, get a notepad, not jot, da jot it down every single, I can't talk, let me start again. Get a notepad. <laughs> Uh, jot it down every single day, every single morning, every single night, what your weigh-in is and record it, you know, take note of it like you should be doing your sessions. That's something I'm going to be doing with this new plan as well. It's actually writing down my, my um, numbers from my sessions and stuff. But uh, note it down in a notepad, in your phone, in your notes, back it up somewhere and then you can actually just read, read back at it, look back at it and learn from it, learn more about yourself, learn more about your body and how you can perform is a big part on, on certain foods. I know that if I have rice pre-workout, I feel good and I feel energized and don't know whether it's something to do with how my body processes it or whatever, but I know that I like to have rice before I train. It sits very well with me. I don't know, I, ju I just like it, I enjoy it, and I can train, I always have a good session if I've had, you know, like, chicken and rice, or tuna, rice and beans, that my signature meal, if you like. I know that that is going to work for me, and so that is what I will continue to, to, to do. So what you guys at home have got to do is not kind of beat yourself up about it, not say, oh, you know, I'm a pound heavier today. Think, right, okay, why am I a pound heavier? Why has my weight been affected in that way? Some things are completely out of your control. It's, it's just how it is. It's just how bodies work. Don't worry about it. Don't let it get in your head. As long as you are putting in the work and you are putting in the consistent hard work and effort that it takes to see the progress, whether that's for bulking or cutting, you know, if you want a steady increase in calories or a steady decrease in calories and whatever for weight gain or weight loss, and that is your goal, stick with it. It's not going to be a straight line, you know, weight loss or weight gain or weight loss, you know, it's not gonna go straight like that. I mean, a lucky person with great genetics might get it for a little while, but even Kai Green and Phil Heath are gonna get stuck and then they'll eventually have to change their macros or change the training or change something. You know, don't worry about it, just stick with it and then seek advice and seek help if you feel like you need it when you do get to that kind of sticking point. And um, I'm here if you ever need to drop me a message, guys, because I've been doing this for a little while now and, you know, I'm starting to figure out my own body a lot more and I feel like I can help others do, do, do the same thing. So either drop your comments or drop me a message or whatever. I am by no means like an expert, you know, but I feel the, the experience that I have now um, has the potential to help people massively. So if you do ever need any help, Feel free, drop me a message. And not just about fitness, in, in life. You know, I've been to university, I've learned a lot about myself at university and learned a lot about life, shall we say, at university. So, if you feel like you ever need a hand with, with you know, your work or balancing anything, again, drop me a message. It's what I'm here for. We're good. We help each other. Together we will grow. <laughs> you guys already knew that anyway. Oh, there's me. Hi. <laughs> what was that? Right, so that is going to round off today's video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope you took something from it. Don't overthink it. Just trust the process. Trust in yourself as long as you are putting in the hard work, that is. So, thank you very, very much for tuning in today. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. 
subscribe if you haven't already, like, comment, all that jazz, and I will see you in the next one.